Hi everyone, Coyote Montana here, and today, <clears throat> today I'm going to show you the videos that my mom recorded with her phone down at Florida. Now, I know some of them can be a little something like that, like something like something like this and everything and sideways, like like back in 2018. But I hope all of you will enjoy this because it's going to have. A lot of things that were shown on video, and heck, even I was I was in some videos too, like like the video that I did with you know when I was showing all of you the butterflies, and <laughs> I got my mom on camera and she got me on camera too. So it's almost like one of those POV shots thing. So enjoy the video, everyone. Awesome. Okay, so here's me taping Philip while he's taping. Place. We got the butterflies. Oh, they're like all over the place, just fluttering about. I miss you, Daddy. It may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. The surface of the land roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. One of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich and productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Oh, my God. 
Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will ensure both human and environmental well-being. across America, we're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil without the use of chemicals.
to them. Talk to them. Hi. outside the wreck. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you signed on for, but hey, the resistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Yeah. Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. I know, Scott for his coffee. Four escape pods down at Sector 4. Verification pending from key command personnel. <laughs>
just like this one. And air socks? Yeah, they are unique. And I wonder if you were to bring the whole hunting family groups. Two or three of these birds, they work together, hunt where they normally could on their own. Oh, that's really important in those desert. There's not a lot of food out there. A couple of these will sit up on a cactus on the cliff face, wait for another one to run into the bushes, scare out whatever might be there, and then he goes. And then they can all get a nice meal. All right, you see Adam? down with you guys.
will be known them as Katina, Nalani, Malia, Trua, and Makayo, our killer wheel family. Makayo is the youngest member of our pod. He's 11 years old. And the oldest is Makayo's mother, Katina, who is also our matriarch or leader of the pod. Later this year, she'll be celebrating her 46th birthday. Zero of animal training techniques create a language between us and the whales. It's a language of learning through positive reinforcement, encouragement, commitment, and care. Through these techniques and our relationships, the whales learn to trust us. And they even learn to take an active role in their own health and well-being. One of the very first healthcare behaviors that we train in is a voluntary blood sample. Our whales are taught to roll ventrally or upside down to present their tail flukes. Not only does this give us a great look at their entire body, but it also gives us access to blood vessels, which are easily seen on the white undersides of their tail flukes. And we're going to see now the true right here in our slide out area. Now, at least once a month, our veterinarians will collect a blood sample, and the killer whales are taught to remain calm and relaxed throughout the entire procedure. You'll notice our trainers today giving them rub downs, whether it's on their backs, their bellies, their pectoral flippers, or even those tail flukes. Killer whales have very sensitive skin. This is one of the ways that we can reward them for remaining calm during procedures, just like this one. It's also a great way for us to strengthen our relationships with our killer whales. But blood samples are just one of the many ways that we can ensure our killer whales are remaining healthy. Another very important diagnostic is weighing our killer whales. And to weigh them, we simply ask them to slide their bodies up and out of the water and onto a killer whale size scale located in one of our adjacent pools. My kind of going to show us that here in our slide out. You'll notice that a portion of his body, from his dorsal fin all the way down to his tail flips, is still in the water. This is the powerhouse of the killer whale. It's called the peduncle, and it's very muscular and very heavy. With the peduncle still in the water, we would not wait to be the whole killer whale. So to fix this, we simply ask them to lift their tails up and out of the water. Training this posture enables us to ensure accuracy. So we know our younger killer whales are growing properly and older killer whales are maintaining a healthy weight. And the care isn't just visit. Mental stimulation and play are fighting. We surprise and engage with our whales <laughs> every opportunity.
Yeah. Look at how they sleep with their head hanging like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Two-toed sloth. Look at that. That's uh, two toes. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. It was pretty amazing and everything. And my, I don't know if my dad was in some videos on there, but the one thing I do know is that it's amazing that, that my parents are on my videos when we're down there, even though they don't like to be on camera, but I just have to get them on video so, so you, you can be able to see them a bit more down in Florida. And probably you'll see them more in the far future sometimes. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like, send some comments, and hit the bell button for brand new videos. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone.